praise the Lord. I'm so sorry that I got cut off again, beloved brethren. Okay, so we were talking in a couple of previous ones about, you know, God will present us faultless and in the presence of his glory. Um, that is found in the epistle of Jude, if you want to look, check that out. That's at the end of that chapter. All glory to God in the name of Jesus. So let me finish what I was telling you guys. So the, these people were coming against the word of God, but it, they ended up being turned around. And the, only one of them, that the I think the owner, wouldn't come back out. Um, and I told the man, the last one, who I looked him in the eyes, and he knew that I, he knew. And he finally said, yeah, I believe bless you I said tell that man I'm not leaving because he told me to leave I'm leaving because I want to have peace with y'all and um, the Lord bless you um, so I went and I, I took my bike and went like to the next place and the people that own that business the guy I know he comes out and he gives me a big old hug <laughs> praise the Lord most of the businesses in downtown know me and they love me um, so I, that one came out and said, Hey, where have you been? And all that stuff. So I started giving the gospel tracks, but it wasn't like, I don't get right in front of their business. I'm on the other side of the street. I mean, of the, of the sidewalk and I'm just standing and handing them. So as the people go by and then I moved to the other side of the street and, Oh, I had great, great things happen on that side of the street. It was awesome. But then I moved across the street and I was in an area where there's no businesses. It was a parking area. And there were a ton of people, so many people. And I had my signs out there, and I was um, blessed. What I did, I gave out all my gospel tracts. So I was just like just praying for everyone in the blood of Jesus Christ, you know, uh, over the people that are born again and their families, and uh, that people would get saved in that town. And then he had me um, say, peace and blessings to you in the, in the name of Jesus. Uh, you're, each of you are precious, precious in his sight, and Jesus is coming soon. He's going to be brighter than the sun. And that was the message um, the rest of the day. And people would read the sign, but most of them were very grateful because they had their children. They couldn't be boastful if they were Jesus haters. They couldn't be because they got their children with them. <laughs> it was a perfect day to give the gospel, beloved. And I felt the Holy Spirit many times going into people and I got to see people come by and bless me and say thank you so much you're doing the greatest work and all this stuff so it was very encouraging but I want to lift a sister up because you know I went through persecution today but um, I wasn't injured you know I, I they tried to injure me but they didn't because I the Lord's not gonna let it until it's time you know um, and and my brother brothers and sisters were in Israel today and one of them got um, pushed uh, uh, down off of a stair onto the concrete and she ended up having a injury and ended up in the hospital, um, a very angry, evil man. And so she ended up in the hospital. So pray for her, but she was still blessing and, and she was just praising God and, and they were giving the gospel on Sister Sarah's um, channel. Um, you could go watch her channel. She's in Israel, beloved. Um, but lift them up in your prayers and all saints who are giving the gospel. And any of you on here who are giving the gospel, I just want to encourage you that God will give you the words. If you're a child of God, you're born again in the spirit. You have the spirit with you. He will direct your path. It says in the scriptures that he is with you and he will guide you. And Jesus told them, don't worry about what you're going to say. He will give you the word to say. And that's what I do. Um, sometimes he'll have me open the Bible and read. But um, today it was just the word of God, just, just strong and mighty. Because the word's in my heart and, and God brings it to my mind because I put on the mind of Christ. And so um, now what I do... Um, is a little bit more difficult because sometimes I'm facing people who are uh, the people that I'm that are that um, he's speaking to have a lot of knowledge or information. But because I've studied to show myself approved, and the Lord has given me my understanding, and He's shown me many things, politics, all these different things, art history, world history, um, uh, education, and all the all these different things in the world that go along with the Bible and history. And so I'm able to stop people. And I had one guy say, whenever they're trying to come against the word, 
with the truth, by the spirit of truth. It's not me, it's the Lord's spirit, the spirit of Christ. So he gets all the glory and praise. So a lot of very wise people get born again because of the wisdom of God, which is greater than the wisdom of, wisdom of man much greater than the wisdom of man and the wisdom of man and all the computers together don't even compare to the wisdom of God he's all knowing beloved the computers don't even come close to God's understanding and his knowledge excuse the noise in the background my, my mother-in-law is taking my dog on a walk so I just wanted to encourage you that if you go out you know you have God with you you don't have to worry about what you're going to say. And he's going to give you what you're going to do. And he's your master. So, you know, let him, he's your rabbi. And so you don't have to worry about what people um, uh, say. Just know that you know the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God that created heaven and earth, that you know the one that created the sun and the moon. You know the one that breathed life into the first Adam. You know that spirit that hovered the waters and spoke and said, let there be light. And by the word of God, heaven and earth was created and all that's in it. Heaven and earth belongs to God and everything in it. He can give kingdoms and he could take them away. This is the king that you worship, that you, that, that your savior, your redeemer. This is the one that the word, the father spoke and the word, the son of God, the everlasting son, this word of God became flesh and dwelt among us. He is with you. He died and defeated death. He rose from the dead after three days being in the grave. This is our God, the one that can make children out of stones. He said, I can make children out of the stones if I wanted to, you know, basically that's what the Lord can do. He rose Lazarus from the dead. Death has nothing on Jesus. In fact, he owns that he, he possesses the gates of his enemies. He has the gate the keys of death and hell in his hand. This is the God you serve. So don't fear them. Don't fear their looks. Don't fear their faces. Don't fear anything. Just know there's an urgency to get the good news out to the world. And today, even though it's a day that the devil thinks it's his day, no, it's not. Every day belongs to the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made, Lord has made and we will be rejoice and be glad in it. This is a day the Lord has made, friends, beloved brethren, and anyone else watching. Enemies bless you also. This is his day, and he's going to put add to the church on his day if he wants to. This day does not belong to the devil. This day belongs to the Lord. And I'm telling you, many people received the Lord today, and the devil didn't like it. That one guy, he was a tool for the devil, a tool for the devil to try to discourage, and all it did was turn those other two toward Jesus Christ. And we're praying for that man. But um, yeah, so it was interesting because I was, I, I, they were like, let's till, tear her things off of her bike. And then they tried to like block me. Every time I'd give the, try to give the gospel track, they would like be right in front of me and try to get right up to my body and like hurt me and stuff. And I just, and people were like, hey, I want that thing. And they would put their hand over the person to grab one of my gospel tracks. <laughs> It was hysterical. The Lord showed up so powerfully. And all the people who were blessed today, I know for sure that God is blessing them. And I know for sure that God is giving them peace rather than fear. And even though the word of God was spoken with power, and we should definitely fear the Lord um, for his rev reverence him, for he is good. And imagine the God who created everything. I mean, we're, we've got to be in awe to him. He's omniscient, all powerful, all knowing, um, omnipresent. He can be in heaven and here with us at the same time by his spirit. Yeah, it, it's way, way greater than we could ever imagine. And he died for us. He shed his blood for us. His blood and his water poured out of the side of him when they speared him. He wore the crown of thorns on his head so that you can, uh, you and I can wear the crown of gold on our head. He was nailed, pierced to the, to the cross, to the tree. And he, he breathed his last, last and said, it is finished. It is finished, beloved, for us. And he went into the grave, as the scriptures say. And he came up on the third day, as the scriptures say. Resurrected, defeated death for us, beloved. This is the God, the King of Israel, who we serve. This is the King of Israel. 
the Lord of Heaven's army host. He's a Lord of hosts of Heaven's army. He has, he has so many angels. He can send. Uh, uh, what did it, what was it called? He can send uh, uh, seventy thousand angels to 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 take care of you to help you. He can send Michael, the archangel. I mean, it's greater than we can ever imagine. The gates of hell will not prevail against us, church. This is one thing I just want to encourage you when you are given the gospel, because I know a lot of you have a heart for it. I know a lot of you care for people, and you're seeing the fact that they, they may be perishing, and you know them, and you know these people. And so you pray, and you, you tell them, and it's not always easy. Friends, beloved, I have been out there for years and I've when I was younger a lot of times I would speak for Jesus when I was younger before it became popular <laughs> it's now popular to talk about Jesus anyways um, and the only ones that I would was able to talk to were the people that believed but when I would be with a group of people that didn't believe it would almost be like they're mocking me and you know what I was not ashamed of the gospel of Christ but there were times that you know, I just would be, you know, feeling like the only one. I was one at, at my university. I was one in uh, in a, the political, um, my, I was getting my BA and my um, minor in international law. I was one that was a believer in my whole cohort. And I went against 300 people. And I'm not a speaker, but God has made me a speaker. And I was on a stage sweating like crazy. Um, and I was speaking proudly for who I am. And all of them hated. I know all of them hated Jesus, but I love Jesus. And the thing is, is you have to be proud of him. Because God says for these people out here that don't believe, they have to choose whom they're going to serve. They have to choose today. Today is the day of visitation, it says in the scriptures. Not tomorrow, not next week. You're not promised tomorrow. We're not promised tomorrow. He who holds the breath, our breath in his hands, Jesus Christ, the word of God. God holds our breath. He holds our breath in his hand. He knows when we're going to be breathing our last. It's not a surprise to him. He isn't like like making us like robots, but he knows what's going to happen because he knows the ending from the beginning. He knew that the Romans were going to be crucifying during the time of Jesus. You could see it in this book. This is my Bible underneath here. The Bible here. And so you could see God knew when Jesus would be crucified as a lamb, as a spotless, blemishless lamb of God. Why? Because he knows all things. He knew everyone's heart. He knew everybody's mind. He knew who would who would be here, there, and what they would do based on their own heart and mind and what they would choose to do. We're not robots. We believe with our own, our own heart. But he draws all men unto himself. Praise the Lord. He's drawing all men in this end time. So you tell them about Jesus. You tell them that he died for their sins and that he defeated death for them so it's nothing to be afraid of i'm not ashamed of the of the gospel of christ for it is the power of god and it's for people to get saved away from the the lake of fire for people to not have the wrath of god on their head see jesus brings the prince of peace brings peace between god and man now people are going to act how they want to act but jesus christ of nazareth he's done a great thing for us hasn't he beloved all right, so whenever you're persecuted for Jesus' name, rejoice, it says in the, in the Gospels of Jesus. He said rejoice when you're persecuted for righteousness, and Jesus is our righteousness. It says in the scriptures that those who turn people to righteousness will shine like the stars. Jesus is righteousness, so if you're turning people to righteousness, you're going to shine like the stars. And that's what the apostles knew. They knew that scripture. They knew the prophet said that, and they knew what was the most important thing. To do in their life from the time that Jesus ascended into heaven in the clouds to the time he comes they knew the most important thing was to turn people to righteousness to turn people to Jesus Christ to get them to believe in the name above all names the name of Jesus the Word of God that became flesh that is what they knew was the most important thing in their life so everything else everything else you know it matters 
Little things matter, but the most important thing was to give the gospel, give the good news of Jesus Christ and the fact that he is the Mashiach, the promised Mashiach, and he is a king, and he has blood on his garments right now because he's using the sword and he's defeating his enemies and people are dying in, in the name of Jesus. How are they dying? By faith. We die with Christ. We die with Christ. And in his resurrection, we have our life. Hallelujah. We are hid in God, in Christ Jesus, and Christ in us, the hope of glory. And whenever we see him, we're going to be like him. All glory to the King Jesus. Hallelujah. I praise him and thank you and bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Peace and blessings to you in his mighty name. Be well and agape love to you, beloved.